Uh, hello, uh, my name is Bruce Law. I'm the coordinator of the Hong Kong Open Set User Group, and I'm also working in uh, the Hong Kong Cyberport. Uh, we are the, the, uh, the company that are owned by the Hong Kong government, so it's one of the, our job is to facilitate and pushing the Hong Kong Open Set to the ICT committee. And now, uh, the most important is not for me, because uh, we would like to introduce one of the Hong Kong Open Set, uh, Peter Chen. He is one of the active Hong Kong open stackers, and he is trying to uh, make uh, innovative software, which is uh, one of the program is written Java. It's on the top of the open stack ecosystem. It's a management tool to enhance and promote how the open set, the features, and also they, uh, they have a lot of advanced features in the, in, in the Titan. Okay, let's talk about uh, Peter Chen. Peter Chen will use the uh, Cyberport platform, the cloud platform, to present how the Titan software to uh, manage the open set. Okay, Titan. Okay, hello everybody. My name is Peter, and I'm the founder of the project Titan. And let me introduce my project. My project actually is, uh, consists of two parts. The first part is a man management tools. The second part is the programming language. Okay, let me introduce my team member, and I am the project leader. And Bruce Lee is our supporter, so thank you very much for Cyberport for bringing me to this conference. And Professor Lee is the team leader, so he gives us so much, so much idea for how to create this project. And Ian Chang is a team member, he is a working at programming world to create the software. And the first slide is talking about the, what is Titan. So Titan is a little programming language that's to describe the cloud. So in the traditional cloud, you can have many setup, right, many settings. But that setting are separate to each other. You cannot combine those settings into a unified logic. So we want to provide a new programming language to describe the cloud. Why we need a logic? For example, if your cloud is under an anti-DDoS attack, or uh, you are meeting a, a traffic both, so how can you uh, fit for that situation is to give the cloud a unified logic. For example, in this Titan language, you programming a logic, you insert that language, add the logic into your cow, the cow will work, behave as you, as, as you wish. And the Titan also come with a management tools, at which you can use the management tools to manage your open stack, okay? So here is a screenshot of the Titan. I will give a little demo uh, after the slides, okay? This is the main screen. You can see uh, the Titan can manage the VM, the keystone, the favor, and et cetera. And here is the remote view. I will show everybody how to log into Titan, start a VM, and remote it with network, okay? Okay. Sorry, everybody, I think the monitor has a little problem, okay? So this is the remote view. I will show everybody later, okay? And why we think the Titan is a creative and why it is important. For example, if your cow, you can have many settings, right? You can have firewall setting, you can have network setting, and you can have VM setting. But all the settings are separate and may be set by different operators. So if your cow is meeting an attack or meeting a situation you want to scale up and or et cetera, you need a logic to define what the cow will be, okay? So that's why we want to create a language to represent the cow. And what we are up to is we finished the first beta version of the management tool. So you, in the previous slide, you can see the screen. And I will give a demonstration later. You can use the management tools to admin the whole open stack. And we are working very hard to, for the programming language, but we are in the very beginning stage. So everybody are welcome to join the programming language group. And next month, our team will draft the first beta version of the language specification. So everybody will get a feel how the language will look like. And three months later, we will release the first compiler, compiler release. So everybody can take the compiler to compile the language and insert the logic to OpenStack. So the logic, the OpenStack will become more dynamic, will work more dynamic, okay? And we are designing the programming language, the new syntax, the stop, the logic. And one thing is very important we want to tell is, many, many people have already asked me, are you going to replace the OpenStack architecture? But I can answer you, we are not. We are wiring on the horizon, okay? So if you have a 
open stack, stack or ready stack set up, you are you will not have any problem to port to Titan. Okay. So so this is the Titan architecture. So the first one we want to clarify is we lead horizon, right? Horizon is an API server, so we definitely lead horizon. The Titan will send the command to horizon to control all the rest of the thing, for example, the storage, the network, and the compute. And we are not changing the original OpenStack architecture. That means we are not replacing some project. We are widening on it. So we are adding feature to the OpenStack. So at the third point is very important. We are not replacing Horizon. Some team member from Horizon already asked me this question for many times. OK, here is our project website, titanengine.com. But the website is not complete yet. And we will launch a website after this expo. But you can still see the code on the GitHub. So everybody are welcome to come a copy. OK, sorry about that. I think the monitor has a little trouble. OK, okay what we need is we want, we want team member, right? Actually, our team is very small. Only four or five people are working full time in this project. So if you are interested, you can email me. And we need a programming language engineer, researcher, hardware sponsor, or et cetera. If you feel interesting, you can email me. I will, I will teach you how to set up the, uh, open, the Titan, OK? Let's do a little demo, OK? So now I'm going to launch the Titan server. Wait a minute. OK, I'm bringing up the Titan. It's OK. It's OK. OK, here is the is the program of Titan. OK, you, for the IP, it's not the OpenStack. Horizon server. You need to set up a Titan server in, a, in a, any, any server that can connect to Horizon. So the Titan server just work with Horizon. OK, now I, I just log in. So you can see the Titan is up. And oh, wait, just so lagging. Is it? OK, so you can see the OpenStack is running. OK, you can admin your OpenStack as usual. You can launch a VM by clicking the launch button. So after clicking the launch button, the one thing we enhance is you can choose the instant name. OK, in the desktop, you cannot choose the instant name. So you can choose the VM, for example. I want to launch a VM, which is a small instant, and choose the image. And then we can just click the launch, OK? And then the VM is launched, OK? After the VM is launched, you can create backup by clicking the create snapshot. Or you can view the details of the VM by double click on it. So you can view some detail. And the most important things you want to do is perhaps you want to remove the VM. You just click remote. And then the remote window will up. And then you can type anything here. And the, our customer already complained that the desktop has some trouble to set up with the low VNC. Because the low VNC, you the, use the web socket to wow the package to the VNC, right? But in Titan, we don't need that. Only the Titan will handle all the web socket things. So the remote should be uh, working. In here, you can manage many other stuff. For example, the keystone, the favor, and et cetera. So you can do it in here. And here we also got the server desk, the, the server panel. You can see some information of your server, the loading, or etc. So this is the Titan. And Titan is open source. 
you don't need to pay anything to use it. You can use it in a commercial environment or you use it as your own. So everybody is welcome to clone it in the GitHub. So thank you everybody. <laughs>